Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time hanging out with us, welcome to the family. You see, we love stories so much we make them every single day so that you can have something fun to listen to either in the car or maybe getting ready for bed or sitting down for lunch. And friends, today's adventure is going to be amazing. Are you ready for today's story? I definitely am. Let's go. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you are following our Instagram page. This is where I love to go live and hang out with you and we have a ton of fun together. So make sure that you ask your parents to click on the link down in the show notes below to bring you over to our Instagram page, Kids Short Stories. I will see you there. Well, friends, are you ready for today's amazing adventure? Holy smokes, this monster truck's about to get muddy. Let's go! Charlie was racing his monster truck through the hills. Woohoo! He had a ginormous monster truck with huge tires. Do you know those kind of tires that have all those pokey things sticking out of the side of them? Yeah, it helps them grip as they slide through the mud and the rocks. Charlie was trying to climb all the way up a giant muddy hill and had to go full throttle to get to the top. Come on, big guy, you can do it. Come on, said Charlie. You see, he had always dreamed of getting his monster truck up this giant hill, but it was pretty big. It was bigger and steeper than anyone had ever climbed a monster truck before. If you saw a giant hill off in the distance that was covered in mud, and you happen to have a monster truck, would you want to climb that awesome monster mud hill? <laughs> Me too! The tires on his monster truck were spinning so quickly, and all of a sudden, they came to a screeching halt. Oh no, why does the gas gauge say it's empty? There's no way it's empty. Charlie jumped off of his seat and hopped down to the ground to check and see if there's anything else that could be wrong. But after many checkings, it was confirmed. He had run out of gas. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and to make things worse, off in the distance, there was a ginormous thunderstorm coming closer and closer. This would be some serious trouble to be stuck up on a giant hill in a monster truck with a lightning storm. Oh dear, Charlie needs some help. He had heard a legend about this mountain that it was actually a place where a unicorn lived. Uh, nobody's actually sure because they had never seen this particular unicorn at this particular mountain. But Charlie was running out of options. Maybe, just maybe, this unicorn would be able to help save him and his monster truck. He grabbed his gear, tied up his shoelaces extra tight, and started hiking up the rest of the way up this very tall, muddy mountain. With each step, his boots stepped right into the mud and it was really deep and thick with mud. If you had some nice mud boots on, is that pretty fun to walk in really squishy mud? <laughs> I love walking in squishy mud with my boots. 
If you close your eyes, can you just imagine the sound of that mud and it sticking to your boots? Well, good thing for Charlie he had these boots because it was a long, muddy hike up the rest of the way. As he was hiking up the mountain, he started to wonder if this would actually work. Oh no, I don't want to get stuck up here, said Charlie. That storm is getting closer. And I, there's nowhere to hide. There's no caves, no nothing. I'm going to be in some serious trouble if that storm with all that lightning and thunder gets any closer. He was right. It is not safe to be up on a hill like that in the middle of a lightning storm because that lightning could crash down right on his monster truck or Charlie. He needs to find a way to get out of there before it's too late. Uh, excuse me down there. Are you lost? That voice kind of surprised Charlie as he spun around in the mud and splat. He slipped right onto his back. Oh, man. Oh, I'm covered in mud. It's okay. Come over here. I'll help you. As Charlie pulled himself up out of the mud, he couldn't believe it. Right in front of his nose was another nose. That was connected to a unicorn. The real unicorn. Charlie couldn't believe it. He started jumping up and down and didn't really know what to say. Holy smokes, are are you real? Am I dreaming? Are you a real unicorn? Said Charlie. Um, the last I took, yes, I am real, but what are you doing up here? It's, It's a very muddy place to be, said the unicorn. Oh, I'm so glad to found you because my monster truck it got stuck in the mud a monster truck what is a monster truck doing up here is it a real monster the unicorn was very afraid and started like running and trying to go hide oh no 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 it's it's not a monster truck it's it's just something it's like a really big truck with big tires it's really cool but i need your help your promise it's not a real monster Oh, oh yes, I I promise. Don't worry. Charlie led the unicorn back down the mountain as they slid in the mud the rest of the way to where the monster truck was. Holy Charlie, that is a big one. Look at those giant tires. The unicorn walked right over to the tires and they were much, much bigger than that unicorn. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Look at this. I even need a ladder to climb into the seat. Oh, that's so cool, said the unicorn. Well, as Charlie explained the problem and pointed that the storm with all that lightning was getting closer and closer, the unicorn finally understood the problem and knew exactly how he could help. Oh, I understand now. Yes, I can just use my magic to, to lift it out of the mud. Um, that'll be perfect. Just step aside, step aside. The unicorn, I guess, has some kind of magic. Did you know that unicorns have magic? Wow. As Charlie turned around and and stepped aside, by the time he turned back around, the unicorn had already done it. Wait a second. What did I miss? Said Charlie. How did you do that so quickly? I just turned around for a second. Oh, well, I can't exactly show you how I do my magic. That's part of being a unicorn. But yep, here you go. Your monster truck is all unstuck and ready to go. That's great. But the other thing is, it, I think it ran out of gas. And I don't have anything like that up here for the truck to even turn on. Do you have any ideas? The unicorn thought for a second and then came up with a great solution. Oh, yes, of course. Just step aside. I have something for you. And just then, the unicorn pulled something out of its back pocket, which I didn't even know this unicorn had back pockets. But out of its back pocket was this uh, very normal-looking rag. A rag that, you know, I might even have at my house, or you might have at yours. But this one was a little extra sparkly. As the unicorn held that rag in its left foot, it started to rub it on the tires of the monster truck. (laughs) <laughs> you don't have to worry about cleaning off the tires. It's it's a monster truck. They're going to be muddy. Oh, I'm not cleaning off the mud. I'm giving it some flying powers. Just hang on a second. You're giving it what? 
it all happened so fast, faster than Charlie could realize. But after the unicorn was done wiping down all four tires of his monster truck, it was actually flying. And just in time, because off in the distance, crash, boom, was the sound of the lightning and thunder. I gotta get out of here. Thanks so much for helping me, uh, Mr. Unicorn, but uh, how do I get up there? It's like floating up in the sky. Here, just jump on my back and let's go. Charlie climbed up on the unicorn's back and they flew up to the monster truck. Charlie hopped in the driver's seat and gave it three honks and waved goodbye to the unicorn as he flew the rest of the way down the mountain. Holy smokes, that was a crazy adventure. Even though this is the end of our story, whew, I think this is just the beginning of Charlie's amazing adventures with his brand new flying monster truck. The end. Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game, is an interactive tool aimed at children ages five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals turning them into young, confident, skilled readers because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Watching our youngest play with reading adventure this summer, I can see how much more ready he is for when kindergarten is starting very, very soon. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure. New reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Visit playosmo.com to check out the Reading Adventure New Reader Kit today. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Nora and Eliza from New Mexico, Patton from Alabama, Reed from Tennessee, Max and Uma from Massachusetts, Hudson and Luke from San Diego, Agnes and Amelia from Ontario, Canada, and Arbor from Michigan. I'm so glad that you are all on the Kid Short Stories family and on the spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!